friends, hey family, como estas bienvenidos? It's your girl Melissa Q back with another video and as you can tell from the title, it is a Diva Curl replacement video. I know, I know, some people have not made a decision if they are going to stop using Diva Curl or not. If you have not seen that video where I break up with Diva Curl for a moment, I just need to feel, figure out if I want to date them again, you know what I mean? But you know what? <laughs> to do what's better for Miss, Missy Pelo, okay? So, I know we are up in arms. We are not sure what we, what we wanna do. Some of us have stopped using Diva Curl. Some of us will never use it again. Some of us are still using it. Some of us don't know what, like what in the world to do. In this video, I'm a girl gonna help you out, okay? We are gonna talk about some alternatives. These are products that I feel like actually function a lot better than Diva Curl. No tea, no shade, okay? But I just want to help the girls out that don't know what to do. And they're like, you know what? I invested a lot of money in Diva Girl, but I'm scared. I'm scared that I, I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know if I want to dump out my products. I don't know if I want to still use it, but I have to put something on my head based upon the viscosity of the product or how it functions in my hair i'm going to give you some recommendations let's get started okay so let's start off with one of my favorite products now i'm not going to pull out any of my diva curl products but i'm going to name the product that i'm talking about and what the alternative is i do have the alternative with me but i'm not going to show any diva curl in this video okay so the first one remember my melt into moisture matcha hair mask that I loved and I did a review on that yes I want to say that most of my reviews I do have unlisted so if you already know about those videos you can but I did do a review on it I liked it a lot but since then because of the lawsuit and everything that's going on I have decided to hold that and not use it but I do have a better alternative and this one is cheaper yes this is the <laughs> Maui moisture creamy shea butter rich coconut oil pure macadamia oil heal and hydrate shea butter hair mask I know it's not that long I just started reading the label don't judge me but this one is for dry hair it softens quenches and repairs hair I love this you guys it's silicone free but it's also glycerin free I use this as a leave-in as well and that's why I feel like it is better than the matcha because the matcha has glycerin in it and I had to rinse it out but this is glycerin free it is around that same creamy texture but it also hydrates that's the melt into moisture one and this one is a great it melts away the tangles this one is a great one you guys and i highly recommend it this is one of my holy grails it's better than the mock melt into matcha and let me just give another alternative that i just did a review on and i have two more that are like alternatives you can choose which one you want but this manoy moisture slip deep conditioning fertilizing dip i feel like that this one is the close in texture and viscosity and what it does now the melt into moisture the matcha was a green tea and if you know anything about green tea it helps with like metabolism and different things like that it helps stimulate you know the circulation on the scalp well this one does the same thing this one has ginseng extract in it and so i feel like in terms of functionality this one would be the best one that would be i feel like the most comparable to and even better okay it kind of does the same function but to me this is like a level up from the melt into moisture okay this is so 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 good and also the deep sea repair this one actually has repairing properties in it as well as well as the melt into uh the maui moisture i'm sorry has uh this one is heal and hydrate so both of these are both healing which means that it's going to help repair the hair and they're both hydrating so woo -woo. one more alternative that i have to share with you guys is the hydrating conditioner this one is protein free i will say if you have low porosity and you were using diva curl both of these are protein free so never fear melissa's here to share in the love the myel manango 
oil hydrating conditioner I do have a review on this and my hair loved it it loves it and this one you can find in the drugstore as you can tell this one is a little bit looser but it has to me it has that same functionality this one is a great let's see I want to make sure I'm telling you guys this it is is intense hydration protein free and versatile for hair styling both of these are protein free for my high price city girls i would say go with this one just because this one is also glycerin free but just gave you two glycerin free two protein free type of deep conditioners you guys i just these this, these are the jackpot okay these are bomb let's talk about like the most disappointing point of this besides deep conditioners are my shampoos my no poos i was so sad when i heard about you know the class action lawsuit people hair falling out and you know and you know i can only go by my own experience now has my hair fallen out yes but i am not sure if it's diva curl or not however i have stopped using it because i don't know and when I would rather be proactive than to go out there. I'm not blaming Diva Curl. I am not sure. As far as I know, as far as I knew that those products were working for me. However, my hair was falling out. I don't know if it was stress, but from some of these symptoms that these girls are talking about, I had. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me just stop. And I was using no poo like almost every time I washed my hair. So it's one of those that's under investigation by the way so that's the reason why i have my my the red flags are up okay my ears my antennas are up but i want to give you guys some alternatives in terms of shampoos and no poos if you were using the low poo i want to give you one that i just tried i am going to come with a review of this line but y'all this briogeo curl charisma rice amino avocado hydrating shampoo that has no sulfates no silicones no parabens is phenomenal i have like i got clean clean hair it had like a nice foam to it but it was very very creamy and moisturizing i highly recommend this one if you are looking for something as a low poo it's it is runny but i like that about this product but it's super hydrating i actually really like this better than the low poo and um i just feel like it's great and y'all i don't know if you guys know this but this is a black owned business briogeo yes nancy over there yes she's doing her thing i am so happy that i have discovered this i picked this up from riley rose this is such a nourishing no silicone free sulfate free paraben free and those are all the claims that also diva curl has so this is a great no um low poo in terms of a low poo or a no poo no that's low poo oh my god this is low poo let's talk about a no poo still sticking with briogeo be gentle be kind avocado and quinoa co-wash this is amazing it is it has no harsh sulfates silicones or parabens in it this is amazing this is amazing you guys and diva curl is just as pricey this one you can pick up from sephora just like diva curl but this one is a great great alternative like i'm gonna keep buying this one and so it's up there i do have a video of me ranking my co-washes so if you guys want to see how that ranked but this is really really good actually this was in the top two of my that ranking video i want to share with you guys two more uh no poos both of them from as i am i have the long and lux so this one helps with hair growth so to speak and this is the grow wash the other one i have is the restore and repair this one is the jamaican black castor oil co-wash these are both cleansing conditioners i really really like them i would say out of both of them they do different things but this one uh, the grow wash i am just i like the scent i like the viscosity both of them pretty much have the same viscosity but this one i could tell a bigger difference than than the jamaican black castor oil this one if you want something that's going to repair the hair like it said um it, it just it's just really to me the scent that really caught me and this one is like pomegranate and passion fruit 
this one it does smell really nice but i really do love the grow wash over this one if you need a looser texture this one would be for you the jamaican black castor oil but if you want something that's a bit thicker and um it's creamier to me oh my goodness that scent but these are two cleansing conditioners under ten dollars hello cheaper than the diva curl no poo decadence and i feel like that these are better i'm just saying one more i'm gonna talk about and that is i did a review on a super cream and the super cream did okay the first day okay it was okay this one to me reminds me of the super cream but better i just did a review on it it is the Camille Rose Naturals Mandarin. This is the Sweet Puttin'. It has Mandarin Hair Buttercream. It's a buttercream. Just like the Super Cream, it's a buttercream. It's thick. It actually looks a lot like the Super Cream. Almost kind of smells like it. But this is so good. This is so good. So for my girls that are glycerin free or want a glycerin free product that is thick, you want something with a little bit of hold. I know it says kids on here. Don't be scared about kids products. I feel like I'm going to try some more kids products. Let me know if you guys want to know that. If you have fine and th fine thin hair, it might be advantageous for you guys to go to the kids section. Check out what they have in the curly department. But Camille Ro Rose hit it on the nail. The They hit the nail on the head with this one. I really enjoy it. I feel like it's very, very comparable. And it's cheaper. Hello. And you can pick this up from curl mart i'll leave a link down below i think you can also get this from target but um those are my alternatives for diva curl products those are actually the ones that i really really enjoy was the no poo was the melt into moisture my like my deep conditioners from there the deep sea repair and the super cream it worked for me it was bomb the first day but because it had glycerin in it i couldn't use it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more things like this and I hope to see you in the next video.